In our previous video titled Private Equity Funds in 2022, we talked about how CPP Investments invested over $1.5 billion in funds raised by Bearing Private Equity Asia. Well, CPP Investments isn't the only investor that has been investing large amounts of capital in private equity in Asia. With the growing demand from investors to invest in private equity in Asia, EQT, the large private equity firm out of Sweden, wanted to help their investors gain exposure to these markets. And how did they do that? Well, they acquired Bearing Private Equity Asia. In our September 2022 video newsletter, which you should subscribe to in the link in the description below if you don't already receive it, we took a deep dive into the deal between EQT and Bearing Private Equity Asia. To learn more about this deal, stay tuned for our Ming Sites video newsletter. In this edition of Ming Sites, we will walk you through the Bearing Private Equity Asia deal, a recent deal where EQT reached an agreement to acquire Bearing Private Equity Asia. We'll walk you through the history of Bearing Private Equity Asia, followed by the details of the deal, and then we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of Bearing Private Equity Asia. Back in 1997, Bearing Private Equity Asia was founded by John Salata as a private equity firm focused in Asia. In 1997, it had offices in Hong Kong and Singapore, and originally started out doing a lot of growth equity type of investments. In 2006, it opened offices in Shanghai, Mumbai, and Tokyo. And in 2008, it opened an office in Beijing. And the firm opened quite a few offices after that the firm continued to grow, doing larger and larger buyout transactions. Some examples of buyout transactions would be the 2016 investment in the Korean cement company, Hala Cement, which Bearing Private Equity Asia later sold to Asia Cement in 2018 for $723 million. And the 2021 acquisition of Strive, a content technology solutions company headquartered in Singapore with offices around the world, including many Asian countries such as the Philippines, India, China, and Vietnam. So let's move on to the details of the deal. The deal we're talking about in this video, EQT, the large private equity firm out of Sweden, will acquire 100% of the Bering Private Equity Asia management company the Bearing Private Equity Asia general partner entities, which control the Bearing Private Equity Asia funds, and the right to carried interest in select existing funds. EQT will also invest in and be entitled to a portion of the carried interest on all future Bearing Private Equity Asia funds. At the time of this transaction, March 16th, 2022, Bearing Private Equity Asia had 17.7 .7 billion euros of assets under management, AUM. So how much did EQT pay for bearing private equity Asia? Well, EQT paid approximately 6.8 billion euros, which was made up of 5.3 billion euros of newly issued EQT shares and 1.5 billion euros in cash. So let's analyze the deal. Why would EQT buy Bearing Private Equity Asia in the first place? Well, the main answer is Asia. Asia represents approximately 60% of the world's population, is growing fast, and is underserved when it comes to private equity. According to EQT, Asian private markets are expected to grow at almost twice the rate of global private markets. EQT has capabilities in sectors such as healthcare and technology, has the proven ability to help with digitalization, and has data analytics resources, all of which, when combined with the local expertise of Bearing Private Equity Asia, will be helpful in creating a competitive advantage for a private equity firm 
in Asia. So it sounds like EQT has figured out how to gain exposure to the Asian markets. Investors, do you have exposure to the growing Asian markets? If not, do you have a plan to gain that exposure? It is important that your investment portfolio is not only diversified by asset classes and sectors, but also by geographies. Geographies such as the growing Asian markets.